Those driving to the Jersey Shore that take 55 down to 47 might be surprised to see that something is missing. An iconic landmark that lets you know that you're about halfway down to Wildwood has now been demolished. Currently, we're standing outside the former El Dorado Motel. As you can tell, the sign is gone, but the biggest thing is that the entire motel, that is gone too. Let's go ahead and talk about this and give you a quick little tour before we get started. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. Because of them, we can do videos like this. If you want to go ahead and support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. Christmas is right around the corner, and right now is the perfect time to get your favorite Wildwood fan a perfect stocking stuffer. We have coloring books and calendars and brand new Christmas ornaments, some of which are starting to get really low in stock, so if you want one, grab one now. We've got pins and hats and seagulls that sit on your shoulder. So many awesome things, and if there's something you don't see, let me know, because when it comes to t-shirts, we can kind of make anything. But if you want to get something, remember the cutoff for USPS to ship things out to be in time for Christmas is December 16th, so you gotta jump on it now. If you're like me and my family, the El Dorado Motel was one of two places that reminded you that, hey, you're heading down the shore and you're almost there. This was one and so was the Church of the Nazarene. You would know that, hey, look, I'll have a little more time and we'll finally be down the shore. So to see it now removed is quite interesting, especially for me. So how did it get to this point? Let's talk about it. It's no secret that yes, this motel was abandoned and it was an eyesore. And so the mayor here wanted to come up with a way to maybe potentially purchase this land and redevelop it. Unfortunately, the city didn't have the funds to do so, so they reached out to the Cape May County Commissioners. The county purchased this almost 10 acres of land for one of their new initiative. It is the redevelopment initiative, and pretty much the way that it works is the county buys up abandoned land, they demolish everything on the property, and then they make it good for some kind of redevelopment. After the county purchased it, they demolished the entire property. As you tell, all the buildings are gone, and it cost them roughly about $57,000. What's going to happen to the land? Originally, it was proposed that this could become a park. But the county commissioner says, unfortunately, we have to recoup the money and parks can't do that. So instead, they're looking into a redevelopment program here that can make all of this into residential houses. At this time, there is nothing on the drawing board for any kind of redevelopment at this time. They're looking into options or looking to see maybe if someone could come over here and buy this land to build those houses. But right now, this is kind of what we're left with. But it is definitely better than this abandoned motel just kind of sitting here. As I'm making this video, I'm realizing that there's probably a lot of people that never take 55 to 47 and instead only go maybe Atlantic City Expressway to Garden State or maybe just take the Garden State all the way down. But here are photos of what the motel used to look like. It sat abandoned for many, many years and by the end of it, Mother Nature had taken over. They had to board up all the windows and doors because people were breaking in. It truly was an eyesore. So now that it's demolished, it really is a good thing for the town and the county. As it pertains to a tour, this is really all that's left. There's really not much to show you except for the fact that all of the rooms have been demolished. Remember, there were three different sides. One to the south, straight ahead. One to the east, over there. And then one to the west. And all that's left is just the concrete paths. You kind of see right now. You kind of tell where the bathrooms were too because of the tiles. It's actually kind of interesting because they were all different tiles. This one's a pink and black one. This one was like yellow and brown. This one was a green one. One point you could tell this is definitely like a, a doo y kind of motel. There you guys go. Yes, this is now officially gone though. I guess technically because the pads are still here. There's still a little bit left over, plus a little bit of the sign, but I want to know what you think. What do you think should be built here? And I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. Stay safe. As always, I'll see you on the beach. Today's a little cold for beach day, though. I'll see you later. Bye. Beach is that way.